Hello, this is Paul, and uh, I am here to uh, give you the second lesson on our uh, series here, and this is part two, and what we're talking about today is about creating shortcuts. So to create a shortcut, the reason we have shortcuts is so that it makes it easy to get to the desired location on our computer to open files a program or even a, a directory and uh, we're going to go through an exercise to be able to make this possible now the reason I ha create many uh, different uh, uh, directories and shortcuts and everything is because I have different projects that I work on and I do this on a regular basis that uh, if you take a look at my desktop here you'll see that I have icons that represent uh, many different programs and also shortcuts for different items that I uh, tend to work on on a regular basis. Now the first thing I want you to realize is that uh, in our presentation we are going to create a shortcut to a common directory that is on your computer. However, every computer is different, and uh, uh, as you uh, have a, a specific location where we have a listing for sample music, uh, most of us uh, do ha tend to have a collection of different uh, music selections, albums, or whatever it may be. And to gain easy access to this, uh, we will make a shortcut. What I need to realize is uh, I have to uh, have an objective to realize whether if I'm making a uh, shortcut for a specific file or a specific directory, whatever the case may be, I need to have a uh, item in mind uh, that I'm going to relate to on a regular basis. And to do this, first of all, I'm going to go into my computer and realize that uh, I have several different locations and in my case uh, I'm going to go into guest documents as I go into guest documents I also realize that I have a subfolder in there that is called guest music as I click on to guest music I'm going to be able to uh, have uh, another uh, directory which is for sample music now this sample music is a shortcut uh, which is going to take me deeper into a list of different uh, uh, pieces of music that is stored there now my interest is to go and make a shortcut for my music because I will be able to store different albums or whatever number of directories I wish and be able to have a, a quick selection from many of them. Now once I am able to do this I'm able to uh, go into the realization that here I am using a uh, shortcut of sample music already created but it is in a subfolder that I'm going to make available on the desktop. Now I'm showing you this just so that you realize that we do have a uh, what is called a path and when we look at a path we're going to understand that uh, this is uh, also uh, going to be set aside and uh, it's going to be put down if you click on the upper right corner there the right uh, I'm sorry the left box which has a underscore in it it will place it uh, uh, close it up down on the taskbar on the bottom where it says shared music from there we go to an empty area of our uh, desktop and we went make a right click with the mouse and we come up with a menu with this menu we also see that we're able to make use of a selection called new it is second from the bottom 
and new is be able to make a selection of many different things now take notice that there is a big list there on my computer for a couple different programs or suites and I'm able to create an empty document on the desktop by a simple selection with the left but button on your mouse and uh, it will be something that will open with that specific program what we're interested in is the second from the top to create a shortcut so uh, as we do specific work on our computer if we're going to return to it often we are able to make this uh, uh, way of doing things now as I select uh, create a shortcut it will open what is called a wizard and uh, a wizard is only steps that you can take to create a specific task and in our case it is to create a shortcut now if you know the exact location of what your folder or file or whatever you want to make a, a shortcut for you can type it in however I very rarely will do that because I want to make sure that it is accurate and it's very important to realize that the accuracy will be able to establish success now with this we are able to go to the browse button and in the browse button we're able to open up a window that is very uh, uh, accessible to every area on my computer take notice that I have a list of different drives and I also have a selection there that is uh, also available to my computer but in uh, what we're looking at here for our easy interest we're going to go into my documents take notice that there are plus signs there these plus signs will be able to uh, open and close when you press the left button on the plus sign itself it will open a directory and uh, be able to uh, give you an access to uh, the necessary subfolders that are inside and when you press on that plus sign it changes to a minus and every directory that is listed from this is there take notice that there are slide bars on the side you'll be able to go up and down or left and right to be able to expose what is completed on your computer for a solid listing so we take our time to find the folder of our interest and we are in what is my documents and we are uh, looking at my music that is what where our interest is now as I make that selection with my left button on the mouse again remember the left button always makes a selection and uh, uh, if you do not have uh, uh, a folder of your choice you, can, you always have a uh, uh, option to make a new folder a new empty folder worth uh, files or whatever music or whatever you want to store there can be added so also in the center until you make a selection the OK button is grayed out it uh, uh, sits in the background and is not able to be to select it if you are very questionable and get scary if you're doing everything right or not why well, you yeah, always have an option to cancel out of this window so with this uh, we are interested in my music and when I click on that sample music is shown underneath it it also has an arrow there which designates that it is also a shortcut so we're able to select that sample music and take notice on the bottom the OK button will take us back to the former screen with the accurate path that uh, already typed in for us now I'd like you to understand what a path is take notice that there is a C 
colon and a backslash by the way a backslash designates what is on your computer at, in the form of directories or subdirectories or as deep as it will go they are separated by a backslash and very common to find that backslash it might be found above the enter key so once we have this the C designates the drive on the computer and this C uh, drive is also your primary drive and it holds the operating system and also it will store all programs installed on your computer the way the programs are developed it will always look for that C drive so it's a very primary thing this is your primary drive now there can be any number of drives on your computer but take uh, uh, be aware that once you have all the letters starting from D on up to Z when you expire all these letters you will not be able to have any more drives at that time you're gonna to have to make a choice of removing uh, some drives to make room for others that are much more useful so uh, be aware of that now we look at the documents and settings as the first directory of our choice now this is off of what is the C drive and uh, we can realize that this directory is part of a root directory in other words it is on the uppermost or the top level of your computer and all other directories under this are considered subdirectories. Each subdirectory can have as many different uh, subs as necessary that uh, we go into all users and documents in that progression as we uh, make our selections. Now we also get deep enough take notice that there are uh, the root directory and then a sub and it goes down to another sub and that is four deep before we get to sample music which is the subdirectory that we are interested in and it can go as deep as necessary uh, there is no limit on this now one thing that after you make your selection and have it all typed in accurately uh, either automatically or you do it yourself uh, the next button is able to be chosen now once we are in the next frame here uh, type in a name for this shortcut very often that name could be very long and it will take up a second line or a third line on your uh, uh, desktop and when it goes into a third line why uh, you won't be able to see it unless you click on it uh, at that point why it's very inconvenient to know exactly what it is so it's ideal to give it a very short name as possible but be meaningful for what you're able to uh, refer to once this is done you'll be able to uh, realize that when you create a shortcut there will be this arrow down on the lower left corner this designates what are uh, shortcuts and what are direct links uh, there is a, a whole selection of icons that will collect on your desktop and there that designation will give you the awareness of what are shortcuts and something that is stored not on the desktop but at a different location so once we uh, have everything set up the way we want it we are able to press the finish button and have it completed once we do that there is a uh, creation of a new icon with that arrow in that corner there with the name of your choice so uh, now we have a uh, icon there where all you have to do is double click on that icon and not the the words but on the icon and be able to open that folder at your will this is uh, uh, the completion of a very quick uh, study on how to create a shortcut shortcuts can be very useful for you make it much more enjoyable for uh, the use of your computer
And I'd like to add on that when you get on the web, you can also create a shortcut from within your browser to be able to go to a location on the web very quickly as well. So there is very little limit of what uh, shortcuts can be used for on your computer. This completes uh, the second portion of this study uh, dealing with the shortcuts and I invite you to go to part three and be able to understand what the properties of the desktop involves and how different uh, screensavers are going to be say, uh, put into action of your choice and uh, it's going to be rather interesting to be able to dress up your computer to be much more enjoyable. So move along with me and uh, please remember that if you have any comments here just uh, make your comment by pressing the proper button on this on the uh, display here and uh, let me know how I'm doing. Uh, as you know we are teaching uh, classes at the First Church of the Brethren and although we don't cover everything in a very short period of time about an hour uh, we do have exercises for people to go through and learn how this works uh, it is our goal that when we hand out computers to people that they're able to take them home and be able to use them and not have a, uh, a piece of equipment sitting on the desk that is very difficult to use so I'll see you in the next section, and thank you for listening.